morning hiking friends. It's Micey. Happy Friday. I broke down camp and left about 15 or 20 minutes ago to start northbound for passage 16 and 17. Are you ready for this? Let's go. copper mine down here. Beautiful morning. So I thought I was at the start of passage 16, but the people who gave me my ride actually dropped me two miles further south. And I was upset for like one second, but then I realized that I had an epic camp spot and I wanted a nice camp spot and there were none at the beginning of Passage 16 for I would have had to have hiked like five miles. So it worked out and now it's two miles less that, that I have to do on Passage 15 because the road to the Florence Calvin Trailhead, I can drive on that road with my car. So it's all good. When I woke up this morning, I was in a cloud and it was very, very cool. Couldn't see more than five feet in front of me. And now the clouds are lifting. building a new bridge over, I think the Gila River. And down there, close to the beginning of Passage 16, a glimpse of the Gila River running strong. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, I'm officially on passage 16. It, it started at the bridge. So, yay! What I found, it's the completion marker with Dale Shewalter's initials in concrete. Thanks, Glenn, for mentioning the completion marker because I would have missed it. Okay, I'm about five miles into my hike today. Um, I don't know how far I'm gonna get, but I'm hoping to hike uh, till like four, 4.30. And I think it's like 8.30 now, so. I am seven miles in. It's just after 10 a.m. And making good progress. You know, I packed out six liters of water and because I thought I'm going like 38 miles and five miles per liter times six is 30 miles but I'm hiking next to the Gila River and it is running 
so I don't need to carry six liters of water because then even before you turn away from the Gila River, you can fill up your water. And I think the water box, the, the water cash box on Passage 17 is only like 15 miles further up the trail from the Gila River. So I am going to not carry six liters of water. I'm gonna carry four um, because I've hiked seven miles and I don't even think I've uh, finished a full liter of water. And my mouth is dry, but my mouth is always dry. Uh, I don't foresee a problem and it's supposed to be overcast all weekend long, which is even better. So two liters of water, I'm thinking, will take me 15 plus miles. And then I like to have a liter of water for camping. I use half a liter for dinner and I use half a liter <laughs> for coffee. <laughs> yes, I drink 16 ounces of coffee in the morning because it's the most important meal of the day. All right, when you're going northbound on passage 16 and you get to this cactus, be careful because his arm is directly over the trail. And if you're tall, which I'm not, you might whack your head. Right underneath him, but I'm only five feet tall, so. <laughs> Just be careful. It is 2.40 and I am officially halfway through uh, passage 16. I'm going to hike on another, I think it's about two and a half miles and set up camp by the Gila River. And there is the Gila River. Okay, well, it's after five and I am on my way down to the river to fill up my water bottles. Um, I had originally, I think I t told you earlier, I had originally packed out six liters of water, but don't need six liters of water. Four liters is plenty. Uh, and yeah, it's been a good day. I ended up hiking 18 miles. And, but I'm set up now to do the rest of this passage and actually make it to Forest, For Forest Road 4, which is on Passage 17. And that's where the water box is, so. It's about 14 miles from here. Um, but I've heard from other hikers that it's mostly uphill. So I wanted to get here and get a good night's sleep so that my legs will hopefully be fresh in the morning and it won't, it won't be a death march. But we'll see, it's been a good day. Uh, it's been overcast, it rained for a few minutes, a 
nothing too significant and yeah I will see you all in the morning for day two thanks for watching